As with any serious hobby, there are plenty of people wanting to sell you expensive things, but it's not necessary to spend lots of money to enjoy amateur radio properly. One possible place to start, which doesn't require a license, is by listening to radio amateurs using a software-defined radio such as the FunCube dongle. A device like this is low cost and simply plugs into your existing laptop or desktop computer. All you need to install is an antenna. With a more expensive SDR, like a WinRadio Excalibur, using an external antenna in the garden, you can listen on HF frequencies to radio amateurs from around the world. Software-defined radios usually down-convert a portion of the radio spectrum in hardware and do most of the processing in software on your computer. This is quite different from the traditional dedicated radio which processes the signal entirely in hardware. Here, a wind radio receiver is being used to listen into the Cara 2 meter morning net on 145400. Constructing your own equipment from kits is still a popular pastime. You could start with a simple low cost SDR receiver kit for around £20. As you get more experience with construction, it is possible to build more complex projects, such as this 40 meter band SDR transceiver project. There are also lots of kits available for traditional designs, such as this super heterodyne CW transceiver for 40 meters, which I've constructed myself. There's nothing quite like the feeling of making a successful contact on a radio that you've built yourself. If you want to buy equipment, why not look on eBay or other similar sites first, as there are always plenty of bargains available on the second-hand market. Alternatively, your starter radio can be chosen from one of the new Chinese handheld radios which start from around £50 for a dual-band 2m 70cm radio. You may also already have equipment that can help you get into amateur radio. There are lots of apps available for Apple devices such as this iPod Touch, and for Android. This app displays solar weather, which is useful for understanding propagation conditions, but a wide variety of utility apps are available, offering anything from spectrum displays, Morse training and propagation prediction, through to call book lookups, grid square locators, and even Echolink and APRS access. This iPod Touch has a handy little app for telling you what amateur radio repeaters are near you.